Welcome to the Ibis Budget Hotel at Sydney Kingford Smith Airport, filmed in November 2023 on my Australia tour. Well, you know what they say about once bitten and twice shy, but I kind of felt like after the disaster that was my Ibis Budget stay in Paris, I couldn't really hold that against an Australian one. And as I needed a cheap airport hotel to stay at, this just happened to be the cheap one at the end of the trip that I needed. It cost me £130 for two nights, or 250 Australian dollars. And, well, let's just say, compared to the horrific experience I had at the Paris airport um, Ibis Budget, this one restored my faith in humanity, uh, for lack of a better term. Um, okay, yeah, Ibis Budgets are always going to be the basics. You're never going to get anything fancy or rewards for them. But it did the job for what I needed. As you can see, I had a room with a good view of the aeroplanes. Uh, obviously, that was from the corridor, overlooking also Krispy Kreme. I kept a nice little aviation theme going uh, throughout the hotel with the art decor. Something I noticed in this Australian one is they actually give you a little room where you can do washing up and use an ironing board, which I don't think you would probably get in most Ibis budgets in uh, Europe. There were some vending machines offering snacks, although there was like a more substantial snack selection near the check-in area. Now, somewhere that does differ from the French ones I've stayed in, Tea and coffee was provided. This seems to be very hit and miss in parts of continental Europe. I haven't stayed in Ibis Budget in the UK in a long time, so I would have to probably go and check one of those, see what it's like. Overall, there was enough space for my stuff. Obviously, I was packing light and I only needed to take certain bits with me on the travel day I was doing the following day after I checked in. Nonetheless, this was an easy walk to get to. I didn't need any public transport. The bathroom, again, very basic. But it did the job, so no complaints there. It did everything that the box needed. And as you can see, that's my view from the room. Nice view of the GA aviation apron and, of course, Krispy Kreme and the Moxie Hotel. Now, the City Dines, which I stayed at before, actually overlooked the Ibis budget. In fact, that's it there on the left, as you can see, just to give you an idea where it is. And the domestic terminal is to the right. So you can easily get there within a 10, 15 minute walk. And like I said, nothing special, but it did the job. It was clean. Everything worked in order, doing everything that that Paris airport Ibis budget did not do just several months earlier. You can see I was keeping my shoes up away from any creepy crawlies that decided that they wanted to make home in there. So, this Ibis budget. Okay, like I said, it's budget friendly. It did the job. I was extremely happy with it, and I'm glad I stayed here. I will quite happily check out that hotel again and recommend it. So I'm going to give it a nice 10 out of 15.